This is another video of John the Electro Man. And uh, back with all my camping supplies. I've got a... Here's a sea bag I bought at a flea market for $10. And I've been using it to pack all my camping supplies. I'm able to fit all this. And keep in mind, this is a blanket that's about 4 to 5 feet long and 3 feet wide. Covered in all this stuff. Including a jump starter with a light for lighting if I have to have it and a tent big enough to fit three people and it's got right here almost like a little carport only you don't park cars in it you just put your shoes and stuff in it to keep it somewhat dry and it's nice and roomy in here too it's got windows that zip up and then over here it's got a little net to put like phones or something or whatever you got to put in there and up here is a gear net and then up there's a little hook where you can hook like a lantern a battery powered lantern keep in mind you can't hook anything up in here like uh high powered lights that get hot or lanterns that uh run on any kind of combustible fuel i can take this little jump starter here set it inside on like a rainy night or something when I'm camping and I need light and I can just pick it up keep in mind it's still daylight I tried to do this video earlier but I had technical issues so I'm out here doing it now and look I bought this for like a dollar or two at a uh And I use, I got this for like one or two dollars at a flea market. It comes on. Keep in mind, the phone kind of tones brightness down a bit. So I could set that like up here or something. If I had to have it shine down. Or I could hook, I'm getting, I'm planning on getting a LED bulb to replace that tungsten filament that's in it. Because LED is way brighter by a long shot and i've got two days left till spring break which i'm happy about and um i'm thinking about since it's so nice outside i might sleep out here for the night i'm just kind of weighing out my options here and uh hmm. I was reading something on that jump starter. It says it can handle up the wire on it. On the outside, can handle up to 600 volt. And it also says welding cable. That's kind of odd that they would use welding cable for that. But then again, it's high current wire. So I guess it would work. High current cable. Power flex is what it's called. Anyway, this is a big tent. It's got nets all over it. I'm also able to pack clothing and blank and a blanket and I also have enough room to pack food and more clothing and then I've got a little tiny wood stove here this is the sterno wood stove I did a review on it says for bet on here somewhere it says for best results use sterno can heat and right here I don't know if I've shown this yet, but I got it for Christmas. It's a uh, survival buoy knife. 10 inch blade. Compass with a kit and everything in the handle for starting fires or sewing up wounds or fishing. And it's also got a uh, snake bite, uh, snake bite uh, kit that comes with it. This ammunition case I used to pack all my fire starters. I've got two cans of Zippo water fluid, a brick of fire start, and that was 99 cents at a uh, gas station. Then I got these for like $3 for a bunch of these little individual ones. And that there is just pine needles, which is free because we have pine trees all through there. And there's our dog Roscoe. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ha. I wonder who let you out. Normally, he, you see him take off flying around the house. 
like a bat out of H E double L, but unusually he's not running off. He's just walking around. Odd enough as it is. And here I've got radio communication. This is FM band. UHF and VHF. U uh FM band. Yeah. And um right here I have this for radio communication. This is uh AM band. Sh uh, shortwave AM band. This is FM with a uh long reach antenna and it'll do about 10 miles in a wooded area. And over here I've got a foxhole shovel used for um digging holes pretty much. And back here it's got like a little pickaxe on it. It's like a Boy Scouts version of a foxhole shovel. I'd like to get like an actual used in service one that was used like in the military or the army. And then I've got it. Yeah, I've shown the tent. Well, this is John the Electro Man. Out.